So how on earth were 10,000 people unified? Imagine if everyone here in our city of Brazil, plus 2,000, were all unified. It seems absolutely impossible. But for the early church, it was actually quite simple as to why they were unified. They were unified because of their belief in the gospel. They were a part of the church because of their belief, and this belief is what caused them to be unified. Their faith in Jesus united them. They kept the important the important. They understood what truly mattered. And as we've seen and will continue to see all throughout Acts is that they were committed to preaching the gospel and they were committed to faithfully living out their faith and action. Our strongest source of unity is in our gospel identity. It's not skin color. It's not music preference. It's not having similar backgrounds. It's not in what we wear. Our unity must be found in our gospel identity. And when you look at Acts 4, yes, they were roughly around 10,000 people that were united. But what is even more incredible is that they were from diverse lands and cultures. They all had different backgrounds. They didn't look the same. They didn't talk the same. They weren't raised the same. They all had different hobbies. They probably all raised their children in different ways. They worked different jobs. They had different preferences, but they believed in the resurrection of Christ and they lived in God-given unity. This is why the gospel is our first core value here at Christ Community Church. We want all that takes place in our lives and church to proceed from and be related to the good news of Jesus Christ. Why? Because if we allow anything else to become the center of what we do, we will lose our unity. If we allow anything else to be the center of what we do, we will not be effective in the expanding of the kingdom of God. The gospel must be the center of all that we do in our preaching, in our witnessing, in our relationships, in our identity. All of it must be centered on the gospel. Our unity cannot be found in preferences. Our unity cannot be found in skin color. Our unity cannot be found in our image. Our unity must be found in the gospel. And we are all different. We, we are all unique. We all have different backgrounds. Some of you were raised on farms and grew your own food. And some of you, the only food that you've ever eaten has come from the grocery store. Some of you like singing hymns. Some of you like singing contemporary worship. Some of you may prefer that I preach from the King James Bible and wear a suit and tie every week. And I'll pray for you. But when the gospel is our focus, we can be unified. And the further the capital C church drifts away from the ultimate unifier of the gospel, the further we get away from the unity that we are seeing today in Acts chapter four in the early church.